Another day in Las Vegas and we are doing some Postmates trying to make some extra money. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be doing a little update on the Postmates cheat codes and tutorials video. So, it's been about a year since I started doing Postmates and I've done over 1,500 deliveries and I got some new tips for you guys. So, it's about the new year, uh, 2019, it's almost January, and we're going over how to save money, how to save time, how to maximize your earnings and pretty much get the most out of Postmates. So if you're new to Postmates, I would say Postmates is good for anyone. If you want some extra income after you finished your job and you're off work, you wanna make some more money, or if you're a business owner like me and you just want something to do in your spare time, so that way you're not actually like spending any money. For example, anytime I go to the grocery store or I go out to eat, I go out and make sure that I make that much money in Postmates. That way, my bank account's always going up, it's not going down. So, right now, as you can see, I got a Postmates order. We're going across Vegas to drop off some greens and proteins. So, first thing I'm gonna say, basically in the last year, probably thousands of people have signed up for Postmates, so it's way harder to get deliveries and you get a lot less deliveries than you used to last year. So. One thing I would recommend is if you're online, you're gonna wanna be near restaurants. If you're not near restaurants, people who are close to the restaurants are gonna be getting all the deliveries. So sometimes I go and I park in little areas where there's a bunch of restaurants that do Postmates. Also, if you just finished a delivery and they haven't given you another one yet, and you have the option of taking the freeway home or taking the streets home, I would recommend taking the streets and taking a street that pretty much passes by a bunch of restaurants. You're gonna get a lot more deliveries that way. Right now, it's about trying to get as many deliveries as possible. You can't be so picky as you used to be able to. You used to be able to skip like uh, fast foods and you would pretty much get another delivery right away. But you don't anymore. So, first thing, yeah, stay by the restaurants. Second thing, of course, if you see a delivery that's really far away, like the restaurant is far away, I wouldn't recommend doing it because you don't get paid to drive to the restaurant. If you drive five miles to the restaurant, you're kind of wasting like 15 minutes and you might be better off skipping that delivery and waiting for another delivery that's gonna be better. Now, it does show you before you accept a delivery where it's gonna take you and Postmates is gonna pay you how far that delivery is. So if it takes you five miles to get from the restaurant to the customer's house, you're gonna get paid for five miles. It doesn't help you to go like the faster route or I think they're literally just gonna pay you five miles no matter what. So it will show you how far you're gonna go. So that's also a very nice thing about the new updated Postmates because before you never knew where you're gonna go and if you just randomly got stuck, if you only had an hour and you got stuck doing a Postmates order that was like super far away, you might have to cancel it. But nowadays they'll at least tell you where it is. Another tip that I'm gonna suggest still is if it's busy and it's prime time, you're still gonna wanna avoid the restaurants depending on how bad you want money. It's usually better to avoid restaurants like McDonald's and fast food places. Typically people don't tip well when you're, they're getting fast food. And generally, just my suggestion is I usually go to like the richer areas because that's the only time that I really get good tips is if I'm delivering to like closed off gated areas or something like that. Another tip is it's huge that you try to save as much gas as you can because while you're doing Postmates, you are driving so much and you're like, I actually drive about half a tank every day and if you're zooming all over the place, you're wasting a lot of gas. You're gonna save a lot more money if you're driving at a medium pace, just going, trying to save gas, really. One more thing that's really gonna help you guys, if you can, I would apply for multiple places like DoorDash or Grubhub or Uber. That way you can be logged in in multiple apps at one time because a lot of times you just sit around on Postmates and you don't get an order. So if you can get other places to hire you, you're gonna be a lot better off and it really only takes about 10 minutes to apply for those places. 
So that's my tricks and tips tutorial. I'll try to update more, or if I think of any more, I'll add them to this. But thanks again for watching, guys. My name is Tanner Markley, and if you're looking for some new shoes, my footwear company is Off Axis Acrobatics. We make outdoor ninja shoes, basically for anyone who's trying to get fit, do some crazy stuff, or just anything acrobatic. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.